How's it going, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Welcome to my art studio. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's make this thing happen before it gets too late. So one of the things that I found here in the art studio is that uh, if you're not careful, I think I think anywhere you go, if you're not careful, you start making sense of, I, I, I've been talking about this for a little while, making sense of why things may not be working for you, for whatever reason. If, you, if you're not careful, and I think it's just kind of human nature to do that. I have no idea why. I think it has to do with all kinds of um, mental situations where you put yourself mentally. But something like that. <laughs> something like that. I think if you give yourself an out, you will have an out. Those of you who are artists and you find yourself like, oh man, I don't know what to do, I don't feel it, and on and on. I think I'm going to start like this. You know, whatever you're telling yourself, I just want you to know something. You're right. It's not true, but you're right. Most of the stuff we tell ourselves is not true, but, but, but we're very right about it. We are extremely right about it. And I don't know why. Where's Daniel? I don't know why, I don't know what makes it happen, uh, but it's just this. I think it's just a matter of how you see the world or, or, or how much you're willing to go for it. Something like that. I have no idea. <laughs> I love that, Lincoln. Maybe <laughs> if I put a, a little top hot. I like this pose. I like this pose. I think this pose is, uh, is, is a little bit strong. I like it. There's something to it.
There's something to the post. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But, uh, I think he went out for a walk. He, Come on. He does have me home. Come back, right? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. Ann Sterling says, uh, the post shows openness, yet still powerful and in control. Well, it's very zen. I love that. Like the sky, right? It's open, but extremely powerful. Like the ocean and all this, all the great powers in the world. Now, I want to be able to put some uh, just a little bit of character right here to humanize them a little bit more. There we go. Why not? Who said we can't do this kind of stuff? It's my painting after all. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I love that. The One Art Prophet says, I think you should do some golf jazz for the 2018 U.S open this week oh i think so i like the sound of that i think that would be pretty cool let's put a little aura around our super cool guy here or girl i don't know it's just, uh, I, I, I i try not to hit the gender because i don't know let's put an aura i love these auras they're very intense very powerful Little there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Guys, if you guys love what you see here, I'm going to sign it right here. You love all of my work. Most of my work is on, on eBay and I auction it. Okay, so the auction will start at 99 cents. If you guys want a shot of this work, I will put it on eBay tonight. And go check it out when you get a chance. If that's your cup of tea. If a, a bit of fobism and abstract uh, with impressionistic brush stroke is your is your deal, you're gonna like this work. I love creating minimalist work because there's something to it. There's a, it, it, it almost like some more is said by less. 
I don't know if it's the brushwork. I don't know if it's the colors. But there's there's a bit of an economy. It's just not it's not just brush economy. It's color economy. There's the the palette's not too big. Uh, it's not an extensive palette. Many artists have very very extensive palettes. I don't. I keep mine very simple. It's a very simple palette. My extras are magenta and viridian. Those are my extras. So there you guys have it. Take care. I will uh, show you guys some more of my work soon. All right? Have a good day. Bye-bye.